What if the first warning sign of dementia wasn't forgetfulness, but a bizarre question? A strange sentence that sounds silly or surreal, but quietly reveals that something deeper is unraveling inside the brain. Most people ignore these moments. They assume it's a joke or just part of aging. But in hindsight, families often say, that's when it started. Because the brain doesn't always lose memory first. Sometimes it loses logic, language, and self-awareness. And the earliest red flag is a question that doesn't quite make sense. This video reveals nine strange questions that seniors start asking right before memory loss begins. Subtle signals that something is wrong long before anyone suspects dementia. Let's begin with number one. Where am I supposed to be right now? Wallace, 73, had never missed an appointment. At first, his wife thought he was joking when he asked that question out of the blue while watching TV, but he asked it again at the grocery store, then again when he was resting in bed. It was like something inside him no longer knew how to place itself in time. For three long years, those strange questions kept slipping out until Wallace was finally diagnosed with Alzheimer's. A medical review found that temporal disorientation, losing awareness of time and place, is one of the earliest cognitive breakdowns in Alzheimer's disease. The hippocampus, which anchors time and spatial memory, begins to falter. This question isn't about being lost in space. It's about a brain that's losing its ability to stay oriented in time. When it starts surfacing in ordinary settings, especially without any confusion beforehand, it signals a subtle but serious change in cognitive function. Number two, did I already ask you that? Betsy, 69, was always polite and thoughtful, but two and a half years before she was diagnosed with early stage dementia, Betsy started repeating herself, then catching it. Did I already ask you that? She'd say with a nervous laugh. It happened during breakfast, while folding laundry, even while she was on the phone. Sometimes she looked embarrassed, other times annoyed with herself. A clinical study linked this kind of meta-questioning, where a person realizes they might be repeating, to early-stage memory monitoring breakdown. They're still aware enough to sense something's off, but not enough to stop it. This question signals a critical in-between stage, when memory is faltering and awareness is still partially intact, that awareness creates a fragile emotional space, one where fear, shame, and confusion start to mix. Number three, why does my head feel empty? Three years before his diagnosis, Leon, 71, said this over late lunch. I don't know what I'm supposed to be thinking about. His wife thought maybe he was tired but the phrase kept returning. He'd pause mid-sentence, frown, and say, my head feels empty again. He wasn't frustrated, just quietly puzzled. Eventually, he was diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia. Research confirms that early dementia can interfere with working memory, the brain's ability to hold and manage thoughts in real time. When the system breaks down, it can feel like mental blankness. These people aren't confused about facts. They feel mentally hollow, as if their thoughts won't load. That sensation of inner emptiness often comes before any confusion or memory loss, and it's easily overlooked. Number four, am I acting weird today? Sandra pulled her daughter aside one afternoon and asked, am I acting strange today? You keep looking at me funny. It surprised her daughter, nothing had seemed off. But Sandra brought it up again two days later, and then again at a family event. She wasn't paranoid. She seemed genuinely curious, even a little worried. Her diagnosis of early Alzheimer's came nearly two years later at the age of 81. A scientific review confirmed that some people experience early stage self-monitoring loss and sense it before others notice. They may feel like they're off, even if their behavior still seems normal to outsiders. This question isn't paranoia. It's the brain trying to check itself, but struggling. When this becomes a pattern, it reflects the early collapse of self-awareness, 
one of the most subtle forms of cognitive decline. Number five, is it normal to forget what you're doing while you're doing it? Joseph was 74 when he began asking this after small lapses. Once while washing the dishes, he just stopped, frozen, staring at a sponge. He later asked his wife that question with concern. Is it normal to forget what you're doing while you're doing it? The moments kept piling up. He even stopped midway through tying his shoes and stood still for minutes. Four years after those first episodes, he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Findings suggest that momentary task disassociation is a hallmark of early dementia. The brain loses track of action chains, sequences of behavior that used to run automatically. It's like the thread of the task disappears mid-action. These micro failures often begin subtly, but when they start becoming visible to the person doing them, it's a critical early signal of cognitive disruption. Number six, did I always live here? Two years before her diagnosis, Sheila, 70, asked this question in her own kitchen. Her husband thought she meant the town or the state, but she was talking about the actual house they'd lived in for 40 years. The question came again the next week, and again while folding towels she'd owned for decades. Eventually, she began saying the walls felt unfamiliar, like the house didn't quite belong to her anymore. A large-scale study showed that damage to the posterior cingulate cortex, the part of the brain responsible for spatial and autobiographical memory, can make people question where they are, even in familiar settings. It's not about forgetting how to get home. It's the eerie feeling that home no longer feels familiar. When even the walls you've seen for decades feel foreign, it's a sign the brain's memory anchor is loosening. Number seven, do you think people are watching me? About 18 months before he was diagnosed with Lewy body dementia, Norman, 74, whispered to his daughter, I think the neighbors are spying on us. At first, it sounded like a joke, but he kept glancing out the windows. Then he unplugged the Wi-Fi. He then asked if the TV could hear them. Soon, he refused to open the curtains and blinds at all, convinced someone might be watching. A medical study suggests that early paranoia and suspicion can emerge in certain types of dementia, especially Lewy body and some forms of Alzheimer's. The brain begins misinterpreting normal sounds, movements, or coincidences as threats. It's not delusion, it's misfiring pattern recognition. These suspicions aren't random, they reflect a brain that's losing its ability to filter reality correctly. Number eight, was I always like this? When Lester, 73, broke down crying over the tragic news, his wife was stunned. He had never been emotional like that. Later that night, he looked at her and asked, was I always like this? He wasn't referring to that moment. He meant his entire personality. Then he went quiet like the question had startled him. Lester was diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia two and a half years later. Scientists support that identity confusion often emerges when the brain's self-awareness networks begin to weaken. This includes the medial prefrontal cortex, which helps us form consistent views of who we are. When these networks deteriorate, people may suddenly feel like strangers to themselves. They're not just confused about memories, they're confused about their own emotional compass. These questions often come from an unsettling inner sense that something foundational is shifting. Number nine, are you sure that happened? Glinda, 76, began questioning shared memories. Her daughter would say, remember our trip to Seattle? And Glinda would respond, are you sure that happened? It wasn't defiance, it was quiet, genuine confusion. The photos were there, but the connection was missing. She even once stared at a birthday photo of herself and asked, when was that taken? Three years after that shift, she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Studies indicate that early dementia damages the ability to reconstruct episodic memories, the kind based on personal experience. 
People may remember facts or places, but not events involving emotion, time, or sequence. This disconnect makes shared memories feel unreal or fabricated. When the emotional thread is gone, even familiar memories can feel like stories about someone else's life. They're not just asking odd questions, they're revealing tiny fractures in the brain's foundation, long before memory loss becomes obvious. One strange question might seem harmless, but when the questions keep coming and they feel off, you need to listen, because by the time they forget what's happening, the brain may have been warning you for years. And there you have it. What are your thoughts? Next, dive into this video for more essential tips to transform your health and help you thrive. You're going to love it. Thanks for watching Healthy End, and we'll see you there.